Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. Uh, before starting, let me start by saying a few words about myself. I'm a PhD student at Dice Group, uh, University of Paragon. Uh, I'm doing my PhD under the supervision of Professor Axel Nangunga. And as you can see, the topic of our today's presentation is uh, RE Bench, which is a micro benchmarking framework for relation extraction system. Uh, and uh, my presentation will be in three parts. In the first part, we will talk a little bit about micro benchmarks. And in the second part, we will discuss that why we create micro benchmarks for relation extraction system. And then we will quickly look into the our framework, which is RE Bench. So without further delay, we use micro benchmark or why we create micro benchmarks. So general purpose benchmark uh, evaluate the overall system, but it doesn't tell us about uh, different components of a system or different parts of a system. And uh, uh, if we evaluate a system on a general purpose benchmark, uh, might be on a, another benchmark that does not produce such results are in, in uh, the real environments. Uh, it's also sometimes lag behind and does not show the actual performance. So micro benchmarks usually they are used case specific and they are specialized and focused on a particular uh, particular use case and it's also very useful for component level testing of a system. So that's why uh, generally we use micro benchmarks. Why benchmarks for relation extraction systems? So mm, uh, mm, as we know, the relation extraction is a hard task in natural language processing domain, uh, but um, we will say that uh, let's suppose we say that relation extraction is easy. Yes, if, uh, it is if uh, we are dealing with sentences like Obama was born in Hawaii and we know the subject and object entities that Obama and Hawaii are. Obama is the subject entity and Hawaii is the object entity. So we can predict easily, even the human can easily predict, the human and computer both can easily predict that, uh, okay, the relation between these two entities is a birthplace relation. But instead of this, uh, I have mm, taken this uh, example from Google Relation Extraction Dataset. Uh, it contains around 633 tokens. Uh, I have truncated uh, this examples uh, to a few sentences because of the screen size. So mm, this uh, example contains more than 10 named entities and also contains more than 30 mm, punctuations and all those things affect the overall RE scores and it is very hard to know that actually what kind of relations between the subject NOAA's and the object California is. It is hard for human and same is the case, it is hard for computer to predict the, uh, the, uh, the actual relation between these two named entities. So if a system uh, evaluated or created on simple sentences and we put them into a hard situation where we put a sentence like this, uh, it will definitely reduce the scores in the actual environment. Uh, and we will show it in our evaluation system. We uh, the PFN is a baseline. Uh, um, uh, now PFN is a baseline system for relation extraction, uh, and uh, it is trained on NYTFB. While another system, Rebel, is also trained on NYTFB. Uh, but uh, when we train both of them on some diverse uh, benchmarks created, micro benchmarks which created by RE Bench. So the story is uh, inverse and Ribble is actually the best line instead of PFN and we will talk a little bit about it, why it happens in this case. Uh, so um, micro more detail about why we create micro benchmarks for relation extraction system so many multiple factors are influencing the F scores of relation extraction systems uh, it needs fine grain testing of the system and to pinpoint more detailed limitations uh, of a particular systems and uh, yes uh, yes some systems are actually created for uh, special purposes use cases so we cannot put them into a situation where it is it is actually not created for uh, many by many factors we will discuss a little bit that okay which factors uh, actually um, if, uh, affect the overall score uh, we will talk about some factors which are related to um, data sets these uh, features 
which directly or indirectly affect the overall scores are the size of the data sets, how big, how huge is the data set, uh, how many sentences, how many number of uh, relations are there, and what is actually the primary task of a data set, for which task it is created, like WebNLG is created for natural language generation, it is not particular for uh, relation extraction. Uh, and the sentences created uh, are relatively simpler than sentences to uh, New York Times data set. Uh, and from uh, which is the source of the data set, like a data set created from semi structured uh, data like uh, Wikipedia, is easy than a uh, um, data set created from the news sites or other parts of the internet. And some data set, the literature uh, shows that some data set contains incorrect annotations, which leads into lower F1 scores. Uh, some data set have imbalance in their number of relations, like for some relations, it contains uh, thousands of uh, sentences, but for other relations, it only contains a few uh, sentences. Uh, apart from them, uh, you can see in the graph that uh, WebNLG have crossed the human level accuracy uh, while the tech rate is still below the 80 uh, percent. Similarly, uh, apart from the um, data set, uh, other factors which affect the sentences, uh, the um, relation extraction systems are factors of sentences, factors of relations. I'm not going into the detail due to the time limitation. But some, uh, mm, like the structure of a sentence, the number of tokens in a sentence, the position of named entities, the number of punctuation in a system. system. Similarly, a complexity of a relation, like uh, uh, mm, someone is grown somewhere and someone is born somewhere, both of these is, um, the sentences generally contain those relations are generally very uh, similar and it's very hard to know that, okay, which kind of relations actually in those sentences is and uh, uh, representation of relation like in some uh, data set uh, the representation like for founder and founders so both are actually means the same thing um, but literature shows that they, they uh, affect the overall f1 score uh, apart from them uh, named entities in a sentence also affect the overall scores position of named entities number of mm, tokens uh, between the named entities after and before the named entities and some type information all those things actually affect the overall uh, F score uh, so that's why uh, we keep all those things in mind and uh, the requirements of micro benchmark we uh, start to create a framework uh, which which we called re bench relation extraction benchmark uh, it's a micro benchmarking framework and it is uh, particularly created for relation extraction systems. It generates personalized benchmarks and uh, reusing existing relation extraction data sets. So uh, we do not create the wheel from the start or we do not create it from the scratch. We use the existing relation extraction data sets. But so this is the simple architecture of um, RE Bench, where in the first part we need a little bit uh, intervention from the user because which kind of micro benchmark the user want, so he can select according to their well, their wish, and their requirement. So let's suppose a user wants uh, to know uh, to select some features like number of tokens, number of after tokens of the object entities, or number of between tokens of the two entities, uh, and number of in named entities in a sentence. So all these information, uh, the the user can select these features uh, using a simple Sparkle query. Uh, so a Sparkle query like that. Uh, where a user can also um, restrict and uh, put filters on that and okay where so a user just uh, query the real data set um, using the sparkle query uh, and select the choices select the features of their choices and um, the re framework will uh, re bench will um, first of all select the relations so in the next step those selected relation is converted into vector representation vector representation each row converts into a vector uh, and then it's normalized into a vector um, by dividing um, each entry of a column by its maximum value so uh, then we have a vector representation for each relation and then uh, in the next step we clusters them according to the state of the art clustering algorithms re bench support uh, the um, five state of the art uh, 
clustering algorithm, k means plus plus, feasible, random, feasible exemplar, and db scan plus k means plus plus. But it is not limited to only those. It can um, mm, uh, um, it can be easily extendable to other uh, other algorithms also. The presentation are the clusters are drawn in the um, multi-dimensional space, and there it's uh, and every cluster it finds the average, and then the closest relation is considered to be a final selection. Uh, so we evaluate uh, RE bench uh, from, and uh, we uh, keep the performance metric to precision recall F score and then we also evaluate the diversity score for the different algorithms. So the selected samples we took 15 relation samples, 140, 40 relation sample and 100 relation samples to um, evaluate bootstrapping and uh, unsupervised relation extraction system. I am going uh, quickly because of the limitation of the time. Uh, okay, so what we got, we, we got the results uh, in the supervised category that uh, a ribble is uh, in the normal situation for NYTFB. Um, PFN is the winner, but when we uh, evaluated on a 15 relation benchmark, uh, ribbles outperform FPFN by a huge margin. Well, Similarly, uh, for bootstrapping the uh, system, we select braids. Uh, braids is a, uh, evaluated on news article, but we evaluate an RE bench, a two um, mode of RE bench, in which in the first one, we uh, keep the orders uh, false. By order false, we means that subject entity will always come first in the uh, sentence. While when we make them true, the story is changed and the scores drop drastically. And same is the case for the unsupervised relation extraction. Uh, I have not shown the results for the few shard relation extraction, but uh, a system trained on 100 relation extraction system uh, performs similar on, a on a 40 uh, relation samples. Uh, and it shows that uh, our micro benchmarks are well diverse and uh, it, uh, it does not require to have a very huge number of relation but it needs to be uh, a number of relations which uh, actually represents the samples very well. Uh, diversity, we get the diversity score by using this formula which is a standard deviation formula and uh, we see that feasible exemplar has the highest diversity score as compared to as clustering algorithm uh, and for our whole evaluation we keep feasible exemplar mm, because it's a highest diversity score and so uh, in conclusion i would say that uh, uh, micro benchmarking helps to know the underlying strengths drawbacks of a relation extraction system and the accuracy of RE system is subject to the data set, to the structure of relation sentences, size of the data set, and many more factors. Uh, for a future extension, uh, we will uh, we have already worked on some inclusion of some document-based relation extraction systems. We will try to look into the multi-language relation extraction systems and other uh, natural language processing tasks uh, such as uh, NER. Mm, and thank you very much. Uh,